Hello everyone, I am Tiffany Star, the Adult Entertainer Gamer, and welcome to another Star Plane. Today we are playing yet another tech demo for Spyro Myths Awakens. This is a fan-made game that's supposed to take place after Spyro Year of the Dragon, which was the third game in the original trilogy. Now last time we played a tech demo for this game, we played a modified version of a Spyro 3 level, but this time we are playing a modified version of a Spyro 2 level, which is Glimmer. And I love Glimmer. It's usually bright and colorful and fun, but this version, I think it's called Dark Rift Glimmer, looks pretty somber. There's a rainstorm going on, the sky has this evening hue, and there's a bunch of cracks it looks like in the ground. In fact, if you look down here, there's a giant hole of death, which was not in the original. So let's explore. We'll grab that, and then let's check down here. I don't want to miss any gems. Last time we played the tech demo, there were a finite amount of gems. I want to see if I can do that again. Wait, wait a minute, can I interact with other characters in this demo? Welcome back to Glimmer Spyro. Heard so much about you. I just wish you were visiting under better circumstances. Wow! <laughs> I, I didn't even expect to interact with any characters in this, this demo, let alone voice acting. That is, that is impressive. The voice acting is a little low, but it wasn't bad. In fact, if you're watching this developer, if you need a voice actress, I'm your girl. I have some experience. Any case, let's explore. Now, I kind of wanted to play this tech demo for two reasons. The first reason is I need my Spyro fix. Apparently, the Spyro Reignited trilogy was pushed back to November, and because of that, I... I'm not playing it. It was supposed to come out today, in fact. And the second reason I decided to play this tech demo, you know, other than the fact that I like Spyro, is I didn't know they had a new tech demo out. I just figured it out. I saw something online about a new tech demo. You gotta check it out. And I'm like, holy crap, I gotta check out this tech demo. So here I am. So there are no enemies as I can see yet. That will probably be in the next tech demo. But that's fine. Half the fun of a Spyro game is getting 100% completion. These gems are like crack to me. I love the sound, I love picking it up, and I love the trumpet it makes when you collect everything in a level and it says level complete. Uh, I don't know what else is different in this one, so let's explore some more. I think I got all the gems over here, but it's good to double check. Uh, this looks like water. I'm glad it was water because I was going to creep over and just check it out, but I fell in. Uh, these pots look new. I don't remember that style in the original Spyro. I Actually, I'm digging it. But I dug the last tech demo, too. The guy making this loves Spyro even more than I do, apparently. No money bags here, which is, which is awesome. Oh, wait! We have a save fairy? I wonder if I die now. If... If I'll come back here or if I'll stop back at the beginning because I'm assuming if you fall in the pits you die this time uh, This time you don't have to climb a ladder to get up here. This is new But I guess it's nice that he uh, switched it up. You don't want to make the same game twice uh, I don't know how I'm gonna get over there. I don't have like a super flying ability But I'm assuming he made it so you don't need one for the tech demo So down here there's usually a bunch of gems, but oh crap. I almost walk all the way down it's death. I'm so used to the original game that I, I almost walk into death constantly. But uh, yeah, that's a big crevice now, so that's not good. Uh, get back up on this this gem. It looks like a hardened gem, like it was turned to stone. Like a gorgon got its hands on it. Well, technically eyes, but you know what I mean. In any case, this is a new area. This did not exist in Spyro 2. This was added. This looks like water. So let's explore the water. I guess it's pretty clear which sections include water if you look closely enough, but it would be nice if it was a little more blue or the distinction was a little better. Is this an alternate way to get here? This has to be, because this is the end of the level. Or well, usually is. Who knows how this tech demo will turn out. Alright, so that's... I think it's five of those. And there's a bunch of these, but I haven't been able to spit anything at them. I wonder if I can jump and get it from here. Probably not. And uh, at least it's not over a pit. 
That would be a dick move. Uh, is this water too? Or is this death? I think that's death. That's definitely death. Alright, so let's not go down to the pit of doom and despair and sadness. No, no! I just said let's not. I said let's not. At least we know the save function works. I hopefully I don't have to collect those gems again. Uh, I kind of wish money bags was here now because look, I have to go around. So let's just focus on this area and then I'll worry about going back in there. I remember that he added some new moves to the game. Uh, welcome moves, by the way, as long as they're implemented well. I remember this was the game, not this one, but the original, the second game, was where they implemented the head bash and a few other moves. Oh, there we go. Climbing was one, and there was one other, and I can't remember off the top of my head right now. But it was definitely useful. I think it was swimming, actually. Because in the very first pot, you can't swim. You have to learn how to swim. So these are here. But I think I have to go back and get the other two because I died. So let's let's explore first. Because I don't want to go back for those two right now. This could be just an extreme jump. Ready? One, two. Ah, oh, I got you! I got you! Whatever! Compact solar system, I don't know what you are! <laughs> Put my t uh, talents to the test. Apparently, he wants you to use that new headbutt move in the air a lot, which is good. Why add a new move if you're not going to implement it? I'm going to jump from here. Ready? Oh no, I missed! Damn it! <laughs> Try that again. Up the magical portal, you can see the stars. I'm a fucking star. Shit. The jumps are definitely a little more challenging. I have to get right to the edge this time. Oh, I got you! Sweet! Alright, so this is where I died. So let's not die again. No hidden walls as far as I've seen. It would be nice if he implemented some of those. Not in the tech demo per se, but in like the main game perhaps. I think that would be really cool. I really like this tech demo so far. Alright. Is there any way to, uh... Is there any way to maybe... Hmm, I don't know if I can get up there from there. How do I get up there? I wonder if I can get up there via this way. There we go. Alright, let's see if uh, this works. Oh, it did! Wow, that, that's some tight jumping, honestly. Uh, just keep in mind, developer, challenge is good, but don't make it so challenging it's not fun. I don't want to have to crawl to the edge in hopes I hit it every single time. That was worth a lot. So, I have 670, no, well, 706 gems now. Another thing I don't really care for are the numbers at the top, as you'll see when I get this gem is uh, they look a little weird, like, see the 707? Uh, I don't remember that being the aesthetic of the original Spyro, which wouldn't keep true to the trilogy. Now we'll get the red over here, and then we have to go get that green. I think I went the long way, but whatever. Oh my god, that keeps getting me! That one trap, developer, you tricky dick. Now I have to start all fucking over. This is wonderful. Another thing that the developer may want to think about is having the right analog stick move the camera. Because the shoulder buttons are not completely desirable, and I would prefer to move with the right stick than the shoulder buttons. Not that I can't handle the shoulder buttons. Fucking A. But it's just easier. It's modern. And I got you! Oh shit, that's a lot of gems. I didn't see myself collecting them though. So I have 750 gems now. But that doesn't seem accurate. I have a feeling that the guy who made this likes E 
even numbers, and I believe Spyro always had even numbers as well. So I must be missing some gems. We're going to be looking around for them, honestly. Uh, is there anything down here? I don't know if he has any kind of secrets or whatnot. Anything across from here if I jump over here. A lot of Glimmer has been modified heavily, so I'm not expecting to know where everything is. Oh, there's some gems over there. Haha. -ha. Clever, clever developer. <laughs> it just seemed right to do that. There we go. Oh, there we go! Oh my god, he even had the level complete thing pop up! That is amazing! I'm guessing that's this entire tech demo. I'm kind of sad that it's over. So that was the Spyro Dark Rift Glimmer tech demo, and I really like it a lot. Um, if the developer makes a variety of different levels that are all fun and aesthetically different and pleasing with these controls, maybe a little modified, like maybe use the right analog stick to control the camera or something like that, maybe raise the voice acting audio up a little bit, not a ton, then this game might be amazing. I mean, this could be even better than some of the other ones, as long as he does a good job. Make a good enemy variety, you know, colorful, fun, stuff like that. Stick to the roots, and I, I will definitely buy the game. I fucking love Spyro, and thank you for watching me play it. I had a lot of fun. I can tell this is coming along much better every time I play it. Like, this was better than the last tech demo. It had voice acting, you can interact with characters, the effects are better, the mood lighting and the colors are better. Uh, just everything's better. Uh, the only issue I have, like I said, was just those two things, and they're very minor. So, I would definitely uh, find this game on Game Jolt. You can download it and uh, play the tech demo for yourself. I would maybe contribute some money or feedback to the gentleman making this game, and I, 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 I fucking love it. I don't, I don't know what else to say. It's Spyro. So thanks for watching, everyone. If you liked what you saw, like, share, and subscribe. If you don't, feel free to bitch at me in the comments, and you know, as long as it's constructive criticism, I don't mind. All right, everyone. Until the next Spyro adventure.